Hi, my name is Owner. Today, we will delve in the world of Penduko, a Filipino superhero film from 2023, directed by John Paul Laxamana, a ribbon of well-known Filipino superhero, Pedro Penduko. I already made two videos related to the character, and one of them is my reaction to the trailer of the film. Even though I have negative view on the character itself, I decided to give it a chance by reviewing the whole film to see its beauty. So let's review the film. Spoilers alert! The film follows Pedro Pendufo, his son of weed healer Tiso. He decided to run away from the countryside because he wants independence and yearns for modern and materialistic life. Unfortunately, he does not find prosperity he yearns. Until he was recruited in the underground company called Hatingami, where people with supernatural gifts like Pedro are formally trained and sent to heal victims of sorcery in exchange for money. But due to his violent nature of harming bad people, he was fired from healing. Instead, he was recruited to be a vigilante to harm corrupt individuals using Kulam. During his assigned mission, he learns the dark truth about the company with the help of his father. He returned to his father on the countryside to prepare for the war. At the end, Tissot dies, Pedro killed the enemy in exchange of having the curse, and saved the community. The fall down of the company implies a new challenge and enemies as they search the whereabouts of Pedro Penduco. The film tells the responsibility of having a talent and how it should be used. It also teaches to respect individuality and independence and shows very different take of Pedro Penduco, which I learned to understand. Now to the details of the film. The visuals are amazing, especially the scenes in the countryside as very natural. But I personally don't like the costume for the agents wearing this style of outfit which does not look appropriate for their mission. They look like box that a healer that can be trusted. Another part which I don't like are some dialogues of the film because for me it lacks something which can be improved. I will give you an example. Instead of nahanap mo, pasado ka sa test. It's much better to say congrats, nahanap mo, pasado ka sa test. Tara. To make it more inviting for a recruiter, showing validation for your talent. Another thing is I actually appreciate elements about faith healing, witching, and cursing. Introducing new elements like what happened during healing process, how witching works, and consequence of killing using your talent. I also like how Pedro used his supernatural talent for personal means like cheating, escape kissing, and harming individuals showing he is no different to ordinary people. Another is not using the amulet provided by his father showing his independence. Lastly, I like how they use duende and how they show it. A good look for new generation. In conclusion, we must understand our parent as how they act towards us. Don't be mad if you have disagreement. Always be responsible to our actions and stay away from trouble. I recommend for all ages because it is a good film. And I hope they could improve the story and the dialogue for the next sequel. What do you think? If you have Filipino horror suggestions, please comment down below. Also, please subscribe and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching and see you on my next video. Bye!